What's up guys, in this video, I want to share my experience with Samsung DeX, you know, I've been using this station, this DeX station for a couple of months now, you know, since I got the Galaxy Note 8, I got it for free anyway, Samsung gave it to me because I bought the Galaxy Note 8, it was a deal then, and I've been using it and I think, I think it's high time to share my experience with you guys, maybe it's worth buying, maybe it's not worth buying, you know, what I've noticed about Samsung this, I mean, it's not going to replace your computer, it's not going to replace your laptop, if that's what you're hoping for. Though, Samsung didn't say it's going to replace your laptop, all they said is get a desktop-like experience, which is true, you know. Anybody that walks into this room now will think I'm running a computer. They would not know that this is powered by this machine over here, a phone at a desk station, you know. So you just put your phone into the desk station. I'm sure you must have heard about the Samsung Dex. So this is not new. It came out when the Galaxy S8 was launched and the S8 Plus. So let's go into what I think of the Samsung Dex. First of all, before I go into the Samsung Dex, this is just a warning. Don't drop your Galaxy Note 8. I don't, you know, I'm, I didn't have this experience with my Galaxy S8 Plus. So I'm not sure if it's the same thing or not. But Galaxy Note 8, don't drop your phone. I'm gonna show you one picture. Just yesterday, I dropped my phone and this is what happened. And the drop is not very bad, you know, it's not that bad. As you can see on the screen, it's not that bad. But I got that crack at the edge and that cost me 250 pounds to fix. I go to Samsung this morning and I stayed there for two hours and they fixed the screen and they charged me 250 pounds. So it means 250 pounds is a lot of money to be very honest with you. I don't know about this Gorilla Glass 5. I'm not sure. You know, in the days of Nokia Lumia, when they launched the Gorilla Glass, I think Nokia Lumia came with Gorilla Glass then before all of them migrated to Gorilla Glass. I know how many times that phone suffered drop test from my hand, you know, it never cracked. And this is going like class five. So don't drop your phone. If you drop your phone, this is what's gonna happen. After hard salt to injury, the phone stopped functioning. You can see it looks clearer yet, but nothing is pressing. So like the retizer, nothing, if you press anything, nothing happened. So I can't even use it, you know. So that's just about it. Let's go back to my experience with Samsung Dex, you know, what brought us here. So what I think of Samsung Dex, if you're into productivity like, um, if you're using Microsoft application, let me go to Word, you know, they work so, so flawlessly, but this is still not the full version of the Microsoft Word application, you get it? This is not the full version, this is just the mobile version, the mobile one, you know. It's not the, 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 the full one you get on the Windows laptop. Let's go to Excel, let's see. Let's see, I, I think I did try Excel, so let's see, let's go. You know, so I think that's just what I, you see, you'll be happy using Microsoft Word application. A lot of applications are not supported at the moment, you know, and the one that are supported too, I'm not quite impressed, except for the Microsoft ones. To be honest, I'm not quite, quite impressed with the majority of them. I was surprised games were not even fully optimized. You know, games not fully optimized. If you're into going online, you know, doing some stuff, you know, browsing, checking internet, stuff like that, you know, even the YouTube looks different, you know. This is a YouTube app. It looks totally different to what we used to know on the youtube desktop so this is not the full desktop experience like i said so if you're into let's say let's go to samsung.com i say you're into browsing you'll be happy you know things like that you'll be happy too there's no much there's no much difference from what you're gonna get on the computer experience to be honest if you're just browsing and if you're just then you're doing some official work like Microsoft Word, I access, PowerPoint, Excel, those ones you won't really get any big problem. But where the problem comes is gaming, 
you know but before i go to gaming there's this samsung application i did try and i like it you know what i've never tried this application it's called sound camp i know i have it but i never did try it and i and i think it's cool so i'm going to show you guys i think the application is cool you know i'm going to show you guys so this is my favorite one you know you can actually make music with this if you're feeling me, you can actually make music with this application. You know? So this is Samsung version of Garage Band on the iPhone, you know. But I kind of prefer this one. You know, there's loads of stuff you can do. Let me jump into this. This is Samsung Sound Cap, you know, and I like it. I do like it a lot. It's just similar to what you have on Garage Band with Apple iPhone devices and uh, iPad. And I think Garage Band, I'm not sure if it's available for Mac OS. I'm not sure. So maybe I'm not. I don't know. You know, uh, you can actually download more. And this is the last one. Let's see. You. So it's just. I like the piano too. Yeah. You know, so this is just for fun, but I know some people can actually use this. You know, I'm not into music. I wish I was, but I'm not into music. Maybe I will learn, maybe I will play with this more, maybe. I would get hang of it. Maybe I would start creating my own music too. I don't know. But this is quite nice, you know. I like the full screen experience. On the Galaxy Note 8, I opened it and I didn't like it the way it looked. But having this on the computer, I think if you into music and you want to buy the Samsung, just because of this, I think it's worth it. Because you know you're actually going to use it. And it's going to be very, very beneficial for you. You know, that's my own just opinion, what I think of it. Because I like the application very well. I like the application so much. So and I think, come on, using this on the Samsung Dex will be very cool. You know, so when you talk about gaming, you know, that's where things really get funny, you know. A lot of things happen. One, no controller. Two, you might, some games will allow you to use your mouse to control the game if you're lucky. Three, if you get Bluetooth controller, great function of Bluetooth 5.0 is it allows you to connect two Bluetooth device at the same time. So this is the Samsung wireless speaker. It's currently connected to the Bluetooth of the Samsung Note 8. And I'm going to be connecting this gamepad now. OK, this is what it feels like playing <laughs> on the Samsung Dex if you want to play any game. So I'm gonna be using the controller so as as usual. So let's just.
you know, one thing I, I would have to say, ages. if all games could be full screen, I'm going to reduce the volume Follow because me. it's too I loud. Okay. Yeah, this is better. You know, if all games could be full screen, it would have been much more easier and enjoyable to play a game on the Samsung decks, you know, but I think some people will never mind anyway. They will still continue playing game. At least it's still bigger than your, your phone screen size. So probably this is the maximum screen size that was allowed, I don't know. But not all applications even support Samsung decks. That's for, for a fact. So this is a bonus. If you got any game or any application and it does support Samsung decks, then that's a bonus for you because not all apps support Samsung decks. So that's just what I think about the gaming experience. There are some games that are full screen, you know, but those games I don't like them and I didn't download it. But not all the popular games, you know, not all the popular games are full screen. So if you're wondering how gaming experience is on Samsung, there's this is a good example. Provided the game is not full screen, you know, they will still be playable. Some use mouse, some use controller, and some they use keyboard. You know, you're not gonna like it. You know what I mean? You're not gonna like it. Please trust me. If you play with mouse and keyboard, it's not really very good because some of their graphics is even terrible. And one thing that is very funny, you know, my little boy plays on my phone a lot, and this game is actually full screen. You know, this one. I was like, what? How did that happen? You no, know, this is a this is a kid game. He played too a lot of my Glassy Note 8, so he knows about all this game. And when I put his Samsung desk one day, he just clicked on the computer. I was like, what? It's on full screen. So I just noted that, that whoever developed this game, I don't think this game is by Samsung. I don't know. I'm not sure. I will check who, who developed the game. But I think they must have done some magic because it didn't say it does support Samsung Dex on full screen. Even on Samsung website, it's not it's not there on the application that supports Samsung Dex on the full screen mode. Yeah, this game is not there. You know, those are just the eat or miss for Samsung Dex anyway. You know, sometimes they are good, sometimes. Good. But what I think on a good day about the Samsung Dex, I do feel okay. This is a Bet365. It supports full screen too, which is cool. I need to quit this game. So what I think about the Samsung days, I just think it's up to you, you know, it depends on what you want, it depends on what you really want. If what you want, you will enjoy it on the bigger screen, I think it's a good buy, you know, you really need to get the thing. But if what you want can be done on a tablet or a phone, for example, this game uses just mouse, you know, this one uses mouse. No key, no controller, nothing but just mouse. I kind of like it that way, you know. So it's the and this is not even supporting Samsung Dex. I think this just managed to run because if it supports Samsung Dex, it's gonna be on full screen. You know, all these games that support Samsung Dex are on full screen, so they just might just like struggling to run. You know, as for it is stream too, it's there. It does support Samsung Dex. This game supports Samsung Dex too. No, no, this does not. As far it, sorry, it didn't support Samsung Dex too. So this one too, Marvel Contest of Champion or whatever it's called. So very nice graphics. Very nice, I like the graphics. Very nice to detail, you know. But I wish it could go full screen, you know. I believe at some point, it all depends on how Samsung is marketing the Samsung Dex you know, or if another company, let's say another smartphone OEM in Android ecosystem is bringing something similar to this and is relatively cheaper than Samsung Dex, I think developers will be forced to, okay, you know what, let's give them what they want. You know, let's make all this thing with screen enable, you know. But for now, this is what you can enjoy, unfortunately. This is what you can enjoy if you want to play a game on the Samsung Dex. This is what you can enjoy. And it's not too bad. You know, it's not too bad. You know, I still like it. See, I like this graphic. This game, I like the graphic. This one is controlled by the mouse. You know, I did mention that. 
there are some games that are controlled by mouse and there are some that are controlled by keyboard you know so this is just controlled by mouse you see so you use your mouse unfortunately it didn't support the controller i wish this support controller you know so i guess the mouse serves as touch you know that's what i'm guessing the mouse serves a touch screen so like touch gesture so guys that's it about the samsung decks and uh, once again happy new year to you and i wish you a better year in 2018 i wish you success unlimited i wish you joy unlimited and i wish myself joy unlimited and greater heights too thank you guys for watching my video i will see you when my next video probably next year bye god bless